probably clipped the audio on that one. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome, one, come all. This is uh, Barefoot Bonus, I believe my channel's called. I'm still alive, and I'm here to talk about my three trombones, which I've not talked about before for some reason. I don't know how I didn't do that for so long, but I decided to start with the smallest and go to the biggest. So what I have here is a Holton TR-102. Um, and probably the first thing you'll notice is that it's a Holton, but with a yellow bell, which, um, to my knowledge, most Holtons have red bells that I've seen. In fact, pretty much, I would say, all Holtons I've seen have red bells or kind of like gold brass, gold brass, gold brass is, uh, kind of bells, except this one has a yellow bell. Um, I looked up the 102 kind of specs online, and it says 500 single bore with seven and a half inch bell, and uh, I really can't disagree with that from what I measured. But uh, the, the the info and the images of this horn are kind of sparse. I assume it's a new design, uh, even though the serial number puts it in the year 1950, but it's definitely a little too new to be from 1950, I think, unless it's just been in immaculate condition for all these years. Uh, because after 1980, the Holton serial numbers just kind of get hard to find. So I assume they reset, and this is um, in, in that new era. Um, the thing is, though, like most Holtons, it does have an all-nickel slide with a yellow crook. So at least that's normal. And I kept the counterweight on it because I'm a bass drum player, and I kind of need that to be comfortable when I play. I also have this god-awful looking uh, saran wrap and uh, percussion stick tape neck guard on it. That's because I'm, I'm not the first owner of this, I'm the second owner, and the previous owner ate through all the lacquer. And so I kind of just put this on in a hurry and have never really changed it in the few years I've had it. Which I haven't really, I don't play it that much in the few years I have had it, because I've never needed it for a gig. Or any done yet, but I still I still practice it from time to time just to you know keep my chops up um, on this King 11M mouthpiece that I use on it. Um, I don't really have much to say as again I don't play it that much and I've not I've spent very little time on like kind of jazz tenors or little tenors like uh, like King 2B 3B Con 6H. I'm not too well versed in those, so I'm not quite the expert on, uh, you know, the more jazz end of tenor trombones, but uh, I did want to show it off because these aren't really documented that well online, and I wanted to contribute what I can to documenting the, the Holton 102. Also, one thing that's worth noting is that the joint where uh, this brace meets the bell is this uh, teardrop shape. If you can see that, it's this teardrop shape. I think that's pretty uh, pretty cool looking. I don't know why they did that. It's probably just to have this side of the bell resonate more freely. Some some reason, who knows. But, uh, yes, this is my Holton TR-102 small tenor trombone. 